the video uh, so in the last video we learned uh, so in the last three videos in the part one i gave you an introduction part two we learned a simple charts part three we learned how to load data to this charts dynamically using flask as a backend python um, so yep now this is part four where we'll be customizing this graph even further we'll be doing like width height and stuff like that so let's get started without wasting much of time so so this is a code from the last video this is video number four so the code is there in the video number four folder right so make sure to check that out all right so let's get started so we are in the index.html and this is what we did last time if i don't know so so basically we create a constructor and we just create an object right so this is what we did now let us uh, modify this code uh, let me just uh, refresh our memory so we have x data we have y data so what we basically did is basically um, our chart is now dynamically taking data from this route right uh, so we don't need any this anymore all right uh, so now i want to do is basically i want to try to customize the attributes and properties of the graph so let's get started without wasting much of time so i'm going to tweak the uh, i'm going to tweak uh, the constructor a little bit because i want to also have the ability to have the width and the height so i'm going to say uh, wideth width and height right i'm going to define two more variable call as this dot with right so we're defining the verb all right that's beautiful uh, so here you can see we have a data right so uh, we, we need data but we will also now define one more option called as options the indentation is messed up in this my intellij uh, <laughs> lol <laughs> let me see if i can bring that guy here all right so I'm going to say options equals to it's a JSON dictionary, right? Again. So let's define WIDTH. And this width is going to come from the constructor that we do. So this dot width. Right. And similarly, I'm going to set up the height H E I G H T. Right. Absolutely great. Now we're going to define our axes, X axes. Right, so what do we want to define? So we want to have the grid. So I'm going to say show grid. And I'm going to say true because I want the grid, right? And after that, I'm going to say show label as true. Show label. True. Now let us define the Y axis. So of course, you can do a lot of modification. This is just a very basic modification I'm, I'm showing you. Offset. 60 right uh, so as usual we are creating the graph now but we'll also pass our options right makes sense now uh, in the constructor what we will do is basically so we have the x data right that's fine the y data is being generated dynamically right so what I'm gonna do is basically uh, this constructor right here the object that I created right this one I'm going to pass the width and the height. So let's pass 500 by 500. So by default, it's going to now resize the graph. Now let's run this um, flask app and see what happens. So here you can see I have the server running. And remember from the last video, we have added the refresh automatically it refresh after every five seconds. You can change this number to two also. So it changes after every two seconds. I think uh, it's a little, my computer is a little slow. I mean, I seriously, it, it's, it's, it, it lags a lot sometimes. Yeah, whatever, that's all I have right now. So Chrome right there, go to the local host right there. And hopefully we see the graph a little smaller and a little better, of course. It's gonna take time. Let's see what happened. Uh, right. Let me load that in an incognition tab sometimes. Well, 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 where is the graph? Did I miss anything? Let's see the div tag is there. Mm -hmm. With height. Uh, 
oh yeah that's the problem i forgot the comma here syntax issue i do it all the time <laughs> right should be a semicolon here all right let's after fixing that issue let's run this and sure enough after every one second i'm not touching it here you can see after every two second it's gonna load dynamically basically but that's the reason because i have set up the where did it go refresh at two i can change it to be one second so basically after every one second so automatically i'm not doing it it's doing by itself right so it's gonna go to the you know the server or whatever and dynamically i think one second is too fast it won't <laughs> i think two is fine so let's change this to two uh restart the server So yep, now it should basically reset after every two seconds. So yep, here you can see the graph is resetting after every two seconds. So you can use this concept to show your sensor data, temperature, humidity, pressure, Arduino sensors, whatever you want, do it. So with that being said, hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, this is very useful for IoT data, remember. Uh, I won't recommend this method because uh, the part five, what I'm about to teach you is basically even better than this. I'm going to teach you live graph that updates in real time with high charts. So stay connected. You will really enjoy learning that tutorial. So that would be the next tutorial after this, right? So if, if you have enjoyed this tutorial, if, uh, if you have any more questions or if you enjoyed this, please do give a like. If you have any suggestions, please let me know by doing that in the comment section below. And as usual, keep smiling, keep coding and see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.